Hey boys and girls, we've done several spelling lessons through video, but for today's you're going to have to see my beautiful face so that you can see what my mouth is doing. Today we're going to talk about the difference in our traditional N sound. Make the sound that N makes for me. N. The tip of your tongue should be up at the roof of your mouth right behind your teeth. Everybody say N. That's the traditional sound we think of when we think of N. But we've talked this year about the sound that NG makes together. It's kind of a nasally sound. Parents, if you, not if you, you are probably not familiar with the sound that you make when you use NG. So if you have trouble with this lesson, watch. It's probably something you're not even aware you do. So when we make the NG sound, we say mmm, and you can tell my tongue is in the back of my mouth. Make the N sound, mmm. Make the NG sound, mmm. It's kind of nasally, it's harder to make. Well, today we're gonna also introduce NK. It's gonna be very similar. Say mmk, bank. You make that nasally N sound. So. Today, to really get you thinking about that nasally N sound, we're going to say some words together that one of them has an N and one of them has an NG or NK. Let's start with tan. Everybody say tan, like your skin tans in the sun. Tan. You notice your tongue comes to the front of your mouth. Now let's say tang. Tang. Your tongue goes up in the back. Say tan. Tang, tan, tang. Do you hear the difference in the way that N sounds and the way it comes through your nose? Let's do a different set. Uh, different set. Let's do pin, like a pin you pin on your shirt. Say pin. Now say pink, pin, pink. Do you feel your tongue go to the back of your mouth? What about tin and ting? Tin, ting. Do you feel where your tongue is going? What about ban? Your tongue comes to the front. Ban. What about bank? Do you see that difference? It's really crazy when you're aware what your tongue does for different sounds. Last one, let's say sun. Sun. Now say sung. Sung. Sun. Sung. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right, boys and girls, so now you're going to get out. I think it's probably going to be backwards for you. You're going to get out. No, you're not. I lied. That's for tomorrow. But as you talk and as you read, I want you to pay attention for N versus NG or NK. And I want you to pay attention to where your mouth, what your mouth is doing and where your tongue is in your mouth. I think you're really going to be amazed the difference it makes in the way you pronounce that sound. Tomorrow, you're going to get out 19.1, and you're going to sort some words for me on whether they make the N sound with the tongue in the front or the N sound with the tongue in the back. Pay attention. You're learning new stuff every day.